Running a business or an organization requires hundreds of smart business decisions to be made each day. In fact, whether an organization will succeed or fail in a competitive world depends on the quality of decisions made. How do businesses make the right calls and strategies? Is it just experience and intuition, or is there a science behind it? Business intelligence and analytics are terms used to describe the tools, techniques, and frameworks used by businesses to develop strategies. In this video, we will discuss the various decision-making support systems organizations use. By the end of the video, you should be able to understand the approaches to decision-making, understand the various kinds of analytical applications and techniques enterprises use, the increasing complexity of business problems, the possibility of several alternative solutions, and the limited time available for making the right call in a business scenario demands a highly structured decision-making process. Most businesses use huge amounts of historical facts, figures, and data available for informed decision-making. This is called fact-based decision-making, and collectively, the set of tools, techniques, and framework that allow this is called business intelligence. Organizations rely heavily on business intelligence to run efficiently by gaining greater visibility into corporate performance, aligning operations with business strategy, enhancing collaboration between teams and decision-makers, ensuring regulatory compliance, improving business processes for business impact, and reducing decision cycle time, thereby ensuring that the businesses do not spend effort or money on initiatives that do not make sense financially. However, just making the right decision to run operations smartly is not enough today. A fiercely competitive world requires businesses to use data available beyond organizational data, foresee future trends, try and transform businesses. This is where analytics come into the picture. Let us now understand the various kinds of decision-making support systems that have changed over years, supported by evolving technologies. Traditionally, decision-making was largely dependent on the reports from enterprise resource planning systems, along with ad hoc reporting techniques. In this approach, highly formatted reports were created by trained developers and shared with the management to understand business. These reports helped understand the current status of the business better. Later, business intelligence systems started using historical data from various sources, and the technique of data mining was used to discover patterns in this data for decision-making, as well as problem identification and resolution. Today, just relying on historical data and resolving current problems is not enough. Businesses need to react in real time and also identify future trends that can help them to make the right strategies to transform businesses. To understand trends and identify patterns, businesses today analyze the growing volumes of unstructured and semi-structured data available from multiple new sources, such as machines, sensors, logs, and social media. They use advanced analytics techniques, such as predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics, to predict future trends and find unique opportunities, not just to improve customer experience, but also streamline operations. Let's discuss a bit more about analytics. Data analytics, or business analytics, essentially include a set of statistical and mathematical modeling and machine learning techniques and tools to analyze various types of data in huge amount and to drive transformative decisions and support sustained successful business practices in an organization. Analytics techniques include data mining, predictive analytics, applied analytics, and statistics. It is delivered as applications using complex algorithms or tools that can be used by business managers to find answers on their own instead of a trained developer. Now that we have discussed what analytics is, let's look at the various types of analytical applications that may be used in an enterprise and the techniques for each. Analytical applications typically fall under these four categories depending on the level of answers an enterprise is looking for. Discovery Analytics, or BI. 
exploratory analytics, or data mining. Predictive analytics. Prescriptive analytics. Let's understand each of these in detail. Discovery analytics is where businesses study huge organizational data sets. Here are some techniques they usually follow to study the data. Slicing and dicing, which helps break data down into smaller sets for easy analysis. Roll-ups and downs help navigate the various levels of data from summaries to details. This, for example, is typically done in sales analysis. Creating scorecards, including graphs, chart, and dashboard display data for key performance indicators, KPIs, in a manner similar to a car's dashboard. Banks often use this technique to create customer satisfaction scorecards. Advanced filtering, pivots, and business graphics for advanced monitoring of data, as is done in a call center dashboard to profile customers and study patterns. Exploratory analytics, or data mining, goes a step further to analyze data deeper with techniques such as statistical analytics, text analytics, audio-video analytics, unstructured data analytics, email analytics, association analytics, classification analytics. Let's look at each of the exploratory analytics techniques in detail. Statistical analysis involves collecting samples of data from a bigger set and scrutinizing it. This aims at identifying trends, such as the primary buyers of a certain brand of products over the last five years. Text analytics is the process of analyzing unstructured text, extracting relevant information, and transforming it into structured information that can then be leveraged in various ways. This can be used to detect plagiarism in research papers. Audio-video analytics analyzes audio and video data, such as those from traffic surveillance data for security or vehicle classification purposes, or to analyze traffic density. Unstructured data analytics helps extract structured information from unstructured data. An example of this is fraud detection by analyzing credit card data. Email analytics analyzes the email data of customers or organization, which can help enhance marketing efforts. For instance, you can use email analytics applications to track the customers who read your emails and the ones who delete your emails. Association analytics helps find interesting relationships in large data sets. For instance, analyze the purchases of consumers in a grocery store and identify the goods they tend to buy together. This can help alter the layout of the store to stock related items in one location. Classification analysis helps classify data. For instance, a marketing manager can analyze customer profiles and classify the customers into categories of the ones who will make a purchase and the ones who will not. That was about exploratory analysis. Now let's understand the realm of predictive analytics. Predictive analytics is an advanced analytics technique that aims to predict the probability of occurrence of a future event, such as loan defaults, stock market fluctuations, and so on, so that businesses can take preventive actions accordingly. Predictive analytics use the following techniques to analyze data. Clustering and segmenting data to segment customers, such as mobile phone users, into various categories. Creating decision trees to calculate the expected utility of competing alternatives, thereby predicting outcomes. This helps in developing personalized offers for prospects. Predictive modeling to create a statistical model for future behavior. For example, predicting the patients who are likely to get readmitted to a hospital or become repeat customers with an airline. All of these techniques help organizations create strategies or take action in the present based on the analysis of future trends. We just learned that predictive analytics helps businesses analyze future trends to create strategies. Now let's understand what prescriptive analytics is. Prescriptive analytics helps users find an optimal solution to a problem or select an appropriate decision from multiple alternatives. 
Unlike predictive analytics, it shows the probability of a future event, prescriptive analytics helps identify a solution to an existing problem, for example, inventory management. Prescriptive analytics uses the following techniques to analyze data. Optimization algorithms that help analyze a data and prescribe an optimal solution to a business problem. For instance, applications to optimize truck routes or shipment load for carriers. Recommendations such as those provided by online bookstores based on individual reading habits and purchases of customers. That was about various analytical applications. Note that an enterprise may choose to use not just any one application of analytics, but a combination of these to develop strategies and make decisions for various scenarios. Now that we have discussed about the various ways in which organizations use analytics, let's see if you can answer this question based on what you've learned so far. If you selected option A, Decision trees, you are correct. Decision trees are used to calculate the expected utility of competing alternatives, thereby helping businesses to predict outcomes. Let's do a quick recap of what you've learned in this session. Enterprises use information and insights for making fact-based decisions, which help to gain visibility into corporate performance, align operations with strategies, Enhance collaboration among teams and decision makers. Build a culture of fact based decision making. Ensure regulatory compliance. Improve business processes for business impact and reduce decision cycle time. Communicate strategies using key performance indicators, KPIs. Enterprises use four kinds of analytical applications Discovery Analytics, BI that use techniques like scorecards and dashboards, slice and dice methods, and roll-ups and downs, and advanced filtering, pivots, and business graphics to analyze data. Exploratory analytics, or data mining, that use techniques like statistical analytics, text analytics, audio-video analytics, unstructured data analytics, email analytics, association analytics, and classification analytics. Predictive analytics that use techniques like clustering and segmentation, decision trees, and predictive modeling. Prescriptive analytics that use techniques like optimization algorithms and recommendations.